one country, 10 provinces, and 72 tribes. We are on the road and spreading that goodness. It's so beautiful. You heard the hippos in the mm, night, right? The whole night. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> that scared me a bit. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. We are so happy to bring this special exactly. episode of On the Road brought to you by Exalt Africa and Green Safaris. Exactly, exactly. And there's a special story about this camp, right? Yep, and I can't wait to hear it from somebody special. Exactly, exactly. It's a very... He's the legendary. Mr. Jacob Shawa. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have a chat with him just now. Yeah, we and he's are. He's going to explain a little bit more about the, the lodge and the safaris and a bit about himself as well. Yeah. So yeah, we're looking forward to uh, going out for our game drive. Nice and early. I'm surprised Lulu's actually awake. Guys, I was up by five, okay? <laughs> I was up by five. But it's really, really like shower camp is amazing. We're going to give you a sneak peek of our room soon. And here he is. Mr. Mr. Shawa, good morning. Shawa. How Come are you? Here. Come into the middle of us. We're doing, like... we're doing the COVID uh, <laughs> greeting. COVID yeah. greeting. <laughs> Though we are all vaccinated, Dana's, Dana's, Dana's. we also got tested to make sure that we're protecting you. Exactly. I'm, wow. Well, done too. Doing awesome. So, Fantastic. Yeah, we, we should be okay. Good. Otherwise, Fantastic. how did you sleep? Very well, very well. I love the bush. She was a bit scared in the night. You know, there was the wind with the rain that was going to come and I was just <laughs> like, honey, I'm scared. <laughs> I, I slept like this. <laughs> you don't want to get scared. Otherwise, that wind was just, well, just keeping the temperatures cool. Uh, exactly. No, it was actually sure a cold night. Yeah, because yeah. it's already hot, 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 hot. Mm -hmm. Then that wind came yeah. and... It sorted out everything. Beautiful. Okay. Now, Mr. Shower, we got on the road to come to South Luangwa to shower camp, and we can't wait to hear your amazing story <laughs> and the story of this beautiful uh, green safari shower camp. Mm -hmm. So right now, I know you've got an exciting day lined up for us. So let's mm -hmm. get started, and we're going to hear more about his story. We also have a special friend that we've brought with us. Exactly. She's been on the wood kitchen before. Her name is Maggie from Maggie. Trinidad. <laughs> I always call her that. I think like... <laughs> So we're going to join her in the car. So yeah, vacation for me and vacation in exactly. one. Exactly. All right. I can't wait. Okay. And I hope today, you know, last night I was praying. Each time I've been to South Luang, I haven't seen lions. Ooh, okay. So, God, do me a solid. Great. Do something <laughs> for my heart. <laughs> let's see some lions today. So let's well, go. Let's get going. Right in National Park. Exactly. South Luang was a healthy population of lions. Uh, so ah, perfect, perfect. Let's give it a go. Yes, let's see how we go. Exciting. Fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> I can just yes. move here, I think. Yeah, you would love it here. Destination, shower camp in Mfue, Eastern Province. Distance, 668.8 kilometers, about 8 hours, 49 minutes drive from Lusaka. South Luangwa National Park in the Luangwa River Valley is known for its abundant wildlife. The river offers hippo sightings, woodland savanna, which is home to hundreds of bird species. Plus, you get to see a lot of elephants and rare giraffes. We found a tamarind tree and of course we had to stop to pick some. You know, there's just something about fresh wild fruit. Yeah, some have already been 
We're always competing with Attacked, the monkeys. Attacked, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Otherwise, you're free to pick all these because we are outside the park here. Ah, oh, fantastic. fantastic. So, yeah, fantastic. closer to the villages, far away from the park. Nice. Otherwise, if it was in the park, I was, Ooh, going, I was going to say, hey, no, don't leave them for the animals. <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm doing with you guys today, I am making a simple and easy tamarind marinade for chickens. It would be oh, lovely, chicken. yes. Oh, yeah. This would be lovely for our sundowners later. I will be using the ginger, mm -hmm. okay. as well as the turmeric, mm -hmm. uh, black, black pepper, pepper, black pepper. <laughs> cinnamon, and okay. you cannot forget paprika. We oh. need that heat. Yeah. Oh, so it yum, adds a bit of yum. smokiness as well. Yeah, of course, definitely. So we have now about 500 grams of deshelled tamarind. Mm -hmm. We're going to add two cups of water and right. boil for about 15 to 20 minutes mm -hmm. to make a lovely tamarind paste. Lovely. The base for our lovely tamarind marinade. <laughs> yes, and cocktail. Yes, exactly. indeed. All right, so, so we'll be back in Do a bit minutes. of a cleanup and uh -huh. then we shall be back. All right. So that's done. That was nice and quick. That is yes. perfect. This looks so good. So yeah. Now we're going to be sieving mm -hmm. um, this for two different things, okay? Yes. So we start with the first one. Look that's at that nice. beautiful tamarind piece. And that's piece. it. So easy. So look, you passed me a spoon. I'm so eager to taste what it's like. It's so yummy, love. Can I grab some? Sure. Okay. Mm. Nice and just tiny. Right? Oh, Viva my wash. mouth is. It actually lives up to his name, eh? Yeah. So, what so. I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to make a lovely tamarind marinade. We're going to be having this with like pico de gallo or like a nice salsa. Mm -hmm. So, it's really going to be a refreshing, sound downer meal, light meal that we'll be having with drinks. So, what I'm going to add here to the tamarind paste, mm -hmm. I am going to add some soy sauce. Okay. Let's say roughly two teaspoons. Okay, right. Do you want to come to the middle? So okay, can... sure, no problem. Yeah. Front and center and people can see what you're doing. You just tell right. me what to pass to you. Okay. Uh -huh. So what we have here, some dark brown sugar. Mm. Okay. Does it have Double. to be dark brown sugar? It doesn't have to be. Mm -hmm. But three it teaspoons. It yeah. the taste, right? It does, mm -hmm. certainly. Honey. Oh, wow. So to this, we're going to add three teaspoons of honey. Ooh, oh, so the caramelization yes. on this is just going to be yeah. epic, huh? Actually, let's make it full. All right. Oh. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> this is going to really be sweet and sour. Yum. I'm going to add some onions, the equivalent of like four mm -hmm. teaspoons of onions. And those and are ginger. nice and finely minced onions, right? Thank you, Mr. Wood. Oh. We're going to add the paprika. Paprika. Heinz paprika too. How much Let's do you add like about in half there? teaspoon. Half a okay. teaspoon? Yeah. I think that's plenty. This is where you see the wood kitchen really just doing that. I think what? this is half a teaspoon. Oh, eyeballing. There we go. <laughs> oh, half more. teaspoon of turmeric. Turmeric? Yeah. Do you want to mix? Oh, I'm going to use a whisk at the end, yeah. Okay, so we put that down there. Mm -hmm. Turmeric. Mm -hmm. How much? Half teaspoon. Half teaspoon as well. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Half teaspoon of black pepper. Perfect. Right, and cinnamon, half teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon as well. Mm -hmm. We really want the flavor to be very tangy, mm -hmm. yet sweet, but not too overpowering sweet. Secret to good marinade is adding some oil, right? Yes, it is indeed. And apparently some water, water. fish, Mr. Wood, but yeah. the water is already in the sauce, so it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Let me get in here. Mr. I Wood need. being the chief taster. Let me try to taste it too. Do you want to taste it? Mm, that is How's well that? nice. That's very nice. Wow. Mm. Flavor town. Wow. Ah. Do you notice Ooh. I'm always dancing whenever I taste some of your food? <laughs> oh, flavor. Full of flavor. Flavor. Mm. 
Mr. Shawa, we really want to hear your story now. Like, we want to know, <laughs> when did you start, you know, guiding? We've heard, like, you're one of the best guides in the world. So tell us a bit more about that. Classic. May I say, from senior secondary school, mm -hmm. actually, I was uh, just in conservation. OK. A lot into conservation, such that I was the chairman for the World Life Conservation Club at Mambwe High School. Mm -hmm. uh, by then, how many years ago? Um, in 96. Mm -hmm. From 1994 to 1996, I was the chairman for the club. Okay. So, yeah, my interest started developing from there. Very early, yeah? Very early. Perfect. But again, being brought up here, mm. everything is not just something that you train. Is something that I've started seeing from when I was born. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amazing. So I think you mean. I just thought, yeah. I can be telling the people that have visited Zambia. Right, Not right. something that I've read, but something that I've been brought up with. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Who are the people that sort of inspired your journey, though, along the way? To be honest, I'll say, if you heard of a man called Norman Carr? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Norman Carr was a legendary guide in South Luangwa. Wow. So, as a chairman in senior secondary school of the conservation club, we used to communicate quite a lot and we used to bring in school children, you know, school children mm -hmm. that can come on a lucky tour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was just an opportunity to be touring or being given some nature talks by a legendary man like mm -hmm. Yeah, I can imagine. So, wow. it was such a privilege. And just from there, I just thought, hey, this is your calling. <laughs> I can tell you, I did all these lovely distinctions. Mm. And, uh, I was an, offered an opportunity at the University of Zambia to be to study as a medical doctor. Oh wow! Really? I just felt, hey, I'm gonna go for this. And uh, there you go. Now I still love it. Wow, <laughs> that's incredible. So tell us more. Remember, you said you won an award, baby. Yes, we heard uh, you were top eight on the Wanderlust. Uh, Fantastic. Mm. Yeah, I think you were head of Wanderlust. Mm -hmm. okay. That you look at the potential guys worldwide. Mm -hmm. so you find every potential operator, every potential existing company of such an industry mm -hmm. that you nominate one of their favorite guides. Yeah. By then, in the I was working for Robin Pop Safaris. Mm -hmm. Specific, I was the head guide as well as the manager guide for the Luangwa Safari House of Robin Pop Safari. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, yeah, I was nominated by one of the guests. And they, mm. Yeah, so the nomination was like 3,000 nominees worldwide. Wow. wow. And I came out one of the top best guys. Wow. So wow. if you say Wanderlust 2017, mm -hmm. he's one of the top eight guys. I'm Jacob Shaw. Wow. Yeah. It was really wow. interesting. I didn't know That's what was happening. Incredible. That's impressive. That's I didn't impressive. Know, yes, we are voting for me, Thank like you. in Europe or Thank in UK. All mm -hmm. those guests mm -hmm. that have voted, I mean, voted for me are the guests that I've guided. Mm. Right. I've guided oh, yeah. hundreds, if not thousands of guests. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, question mm -hmm. Who would you say is like the most famous person that you have actually taken out into the bush and given a tour guide? A lot. Mm -hmm. But you know what it is? Guiding is me. Guiding is what I love. So mm -hmm. I don't want to talk of like who is important, who is not. Every uh -huh. case for me is very important. Oh, wow, fantastic. that's special. <laughs> <laughs> that is so special. <laughs> I love everybody. Mm. So there's nobody who is important here. Mm -hmm. As long as you are here, it means that you are interested in safari. And I try to deliver right. whoever is here. Mm. So there's mm. nothing like mm. who is important. To me, every guest is very important. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, just to take you back. Uh, talking about proudly Zambian. The actual camp itself was named after you, Mr. Shah. How did that come How about? How did that happen? <laughs> I think because Jacob Shawa, mm -hmm. who is actually myself, okay. <laughs> and the man who made sure I've secured mm -hmm. the whole of this amazing land where Shawa Gwanga Camp is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So this came after my nomination of being one of the top best world guides. Mm. The local chief say, Jacob, mm -hmm. I'm so happy with this. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Fantastic. The local chief is an amazing man. He loves people that he encourages them. Mm. So he says, if from my chiefdom, you can choose the best location if you one day you wow. put up a safari camp. Mm. Wow. It's actually emotional for me to hear you 
speak so passionately about the choice you made. You're very intentional. You are very strategic. <laughs> um, it, it, you know, and I feel that the chief knew as he also gave you this gift that he was gifting someone who wouldn't throw this opportunity away, but was gifting someone who truly understood what could be done. Mm. He was very confident. And the legacy. He told yes. me straight away to say, hey, Jacob, mm -hmm. I know you. From Aww. when you were very young. Mm. And, uh, mm -hmm. There we are. This is mm. where Shawal Wongo Camp is. Absolutely amazing. And, and you've partnered with Green Safaris, yes. who do such an incredible job mm. in, 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 all, in also their properties. This is just top amazing. notch. Top notch. Lunch is over. Exactly. The fupa is like out to play now. I ate so much. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, come take a look at our room. Sneak peek. Okay, come, 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 come. <laughs> the fupa is what? Yes, it's like. So the fupa must, must, must go and relax a bit, eh? Yes. We're really excited to show you our room. Our room. I'm the telling boudoir. you, it's glamping like On luxury, level. just like amazing. Look at this bed. It's like you're literally sleeping outside. Yeah, I really love the bed. It was so comfortable, comfortable. like super comfortable. The bath. And guys, the, the bath. bath. Mr. Wood didn't use the bath. I used the bath alone. But guys, that bath was made for two. But you know why I didn't use the bath? Why? Follow me, follow me. Okay. Come take you a look at the them. shower. I mean, why would you not want to shower in here? It's like you're literally outside, guys. I mean, it's ridiculous. Look at that. Come see, Lulu. Let me come in. Uh huh. Come and take a look. Now you know so, why. So, no, I, I felt it in the morning. Guys, this shower. I want it to be within the wilderness. You are within, but I can only do it in the day because I'm look at this. Life. I am so scared at night. Like, I'm just like, Vinyama <laughs> Vizani, yeah. Oh, that, that sounded wrong. But anyways, <laughs> this shower, legit. Perfect. You know, do you see? Like, those are big. Holes for water. It's not coming out at your chair. It's coming out at your hole. Oh. <laughs> and this finish is beautiful. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Now come check out mm -hmm. the view, guys. You have to see the view that we get to wake up to. And actually, also just in the night, you can see it because exactly. of the moonlight. It's and absolutely beautiful. Especially the past beautiful. couple of days, the moon has been beautiful. Amazing. Been beautiful. I mean, yeah. look at that. We woke up to sounds of hippos making noise. Yeah. The baboons we slept across. Too. Yeah. A hippo right here, an <laughs> elephant, elephant well. right there. <laughs> it was a lot. And then we woke up and we had some Rhodes quality juice right here. Sit and I'll show them how we sat because everyone is going to assume that uh, I sat here. I didn't. No. I did a car romantic. She had to sit. You Would know? you like some juice now? Yes, darling. Oh, let me remove my shoes. It's been such a long day. Oh, my feet are swollen. That's what it is. Oh, I swear. Shower come by Green Safaris is absolutely beautiful. to bring the Caribbean experience. We had tamarind rings. Mm -hmm. We also have a lovely mango salsa as well as tortilla chips. So we took it to the Latin America side of the Ooh, Caribbean. Oh, oh. <laughs> beautiful sunset. I oh my God, thank you so much Wood Kitchen for having me on. No. Thank you. You're most welcome. Do you want to take a seat? This sure. Oh. I've already taken a taste, guys. Like, this is so good. <laughs> have you tasted it, Mr. Shower? Oh yes, it's a tasty. So we need to leave this one for mm. the resident barman, eh? Yeah. Tamarind, ginger, cinnamon. No, no, no cinnamon. I, really? Yeah. No cinnamon. Tamarind, 
ginger, simple syrup, simple syrup, tonic, and vodka. Tonic and vodka. Yeah. Just like Sounds that. Interesting. So this simple. is a winner. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. This Are you is a winner. For real? Cheers to that. Thank you. <laughs> and cheers so what, to Green so Safari. What are you going to yeah. call this? Cheers the shower to Green by the, the wood shower. kitchen. Yes. We are this, calling it the shower. The shower by the wood kitchen. <laughs> wow. So wow. they are, I mean, shower camp has to add this to their menu now. It definitely has to. Definitely. This has should to. be added Very like everywhere. This tamarind, what is it? Like a tamarind martini? Mm -hmm. Yes, pretty much here. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, exactly. This it's is beautiful. Life. Cheers. Wow. Refreshing. Cheers. And what was your best experience, love? For me, I think I touched on the uh, fish eagle today because such a graceful creature. But first time I've done a walking safari, and I must say, it really, has been, uh, yeah, because the last time I wanted to do it, what happened? I don't think I had enough time to do the walking safari. Mm. So this time, Mr. Shah has taken us around for the walking safari, and it's actually a bit more intimate because a lot of the time you're sitting in the back of a van exactly. and you're looking at animals from such a far kind of distance so mm. today we're literally what five ten meters to yeah. hippos yeah and uh, lazarus was there as well he's worked in the sasha for like 20 years yes very professional he knew what he very was doing and we were so comfortable because usually when you get out of the car it's just like oh this is uncharted yes. you know I mean? yes. but he made us feel so comfortable yeah. mr shah was there he guided us he taught us the do's and don'ts and the, I think that for me was amazing. <laughs> Just to round it off, for me, Mr. Shower, my most memorable moment, like memorable moment, moment. has been you. Really? Oh. Yeah. Well, what did you think Mr. Shower was like? <laughs> I, 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 I didn't made. know what to expect. Oh, okay. I just knew you had to be something special because of how your team spoke about you. Oh, really? Wow. And, um, sorry. I love to see Zambians passionate. I love to see Zambians mm. going out and just reaching for the stars. I love to hear of Zambian stories of people that just defy the odds. You should have been a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> but you're here doing incredible things. Exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. That passion that you have, that 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 love for what you do it's something amazing and i'm just so incredibly honored and humbled that we could share this moment with you oh, exactly that's so nice of we you. have Thank learned you so, so much and we are glad we can share your story with the world mm. thank you so much i'm so glad to hear that to mr shower and the shower <laughs> <laughs> cheers 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 guys cheers, cheers. Maggie. cheers love, love. oh william there you are what a wonderful day that we've had Thank you so much to each and every one of you for watching us. Um, Maggie, you're truly special. And we're so happy Thank that we you. could help you discover more of Zambia. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you're going to make me tear up <laughs> as you always do. Thank you very much. <laughs> we love you, my friend. To Exalt Africa, we want to thank you for bringing us to this beautiful shower camp by Green Safaris. We are grateful for your support of um, the project that is on the road exactly. um, to the Rhodes Food Group we're so grateful for um, you know pushing us to explore Zambia to explore Zambian food mm -hmm. we're looking forward to get on the road even more um, in the near future but for now to all our viewers thank you for watching this thank you for being part of our family part of our community for joining us on our travels with love from Wood the kitchen. wood kitchen. As Kelly says, wood kitchen. Wood kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Now let's Cheers dig again. into this chicken. Yeah. <laughs>